Hello guys, welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. So I haven't done a video uh, lately, so I uh, thought of doing one. I think a lot of kids is asking how do you convert the uh, Scratch 3 project into an APK file so that you could install in the mobile device like a phone or something. So I'll show you how to do that. So today I'm going to try to uh, show you that how to do that. So I'm going to use uh, my kids uh, project, this uh, scrolling platformer. So what you have to do is first you save it to your computer. So when you download this, it will save this to your computer. So once you save this to your computer, you find where the file is at, let's say in the download folder or whatever, right? Okay, so uh, I found my file, I moved it over here. So let's just call it like uh, Kids Going Playground. This is my file. So I put the uh, SB3 file here, which is the scratch file that I just downloaded, okay? So once you downloaded uh, the uh, file, uh, so what you have to do, you have to go to uh, Oracle, uh, find the Oracle, so just type like uh, search for uh, Java uh, JDK uh, download 1.8, so something like this, so you say like Java JDK 1.8, okay, so you go to like Oracle site, just like this one, just what I had over here, so basically you click on this, you come to this page here, so in this page, uh, what you have to do is you gotta have to scroll down, okay, scroll down here, you see uh, it's only uh, looking for JDK 1.8. So JDK 1.8 is an older version of Java. Uh, right now it's like 15. So, but uh, I think the uh, the uh, it, that converter needs JDK 1.8. So that's why we use JDK 1.8. So you can click on this link, then download it if you have Windows. And then if you have Mac, you have to download the Mac one, okay? So you might need your parents to help you with this. You need to have a Google, uh, uh, not Google, you have to have an Oracle account. So you have to create an Oracle account, download this file. And then when you have, uh, after you have downloaded this exe file, uh, what you do is just double click the exe file and it will install. So since I already have Java, so I, I don't have to do this part. So I'll show you how it looks like. So I have a different version of Java here. I have 15 and uh, one, uh, 8 as well. So it depends on where you want to uh, save it. I mean, I save it into C coding, uh, C Java, but you can have it in your program file or something. So this is how the, uh, after you install, it should be somewhere in your, in your project, okay? So something like this. So as you can see, if you click inside here, it will show like something like this. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to create a Java home to this location, okay? Okay, next, uh, you have to go to like PC, uh, right click on your PC property. Okay, and then here you have to click on this advanced system setting. Uh, advanced system setting, you have to go to your environment variable. Uh, make sure that you have uh, set up your Java home where it is. Okay, so uh, something like this, Java home, and then you have to have a path, a path. So when you edit it, you see like Java home, the, the home, the uh, location. And then you have to have a path. So the path is like uh, Java home, bin, whatever, right? The bin is added to the path. So once you have all that, uh, what you can do is uh, to test it, what, uh, if it's working or not. So you can say CMD, uh, open this. Okay, in this thing, uh, you just type Java dash version. So you can see that you have the 1.8 version here installed. So that means you're good. Okay. Okay, so now that you have your Java, everything set up, you have to go to this something called uh, uh, HTML uh, Lilyfire. So I'll give you the link below. It's like ship test.github.io.html uh, .html Lilyfire. So here, what you can do is this, uh, you can uh, select, you can even go to the scratch project and all that, but you can just say choose. And then you go to your APK. And then I think I have it here, right? So just select this. So once you select the file, you see that jungle, whatever, uh, scrolling platform, right? So here you can put the name, say uh, jungle platformer, okay? And then you can put your name, I guess, uh, what is it? Raslin, yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, Raslin. Okay, so that automatically fill it up. So once I got this one, uh, these like different option here, compatible mode is like the uh, two, version two of Scratch, version three, that's the turbo mode. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, don't, don't check all this thing. 
leave it like this uh, it's fine you know full screen button if you want show the stop and start button I didn't check it so we don't need it actually so we're gonna convert this into a actual um, APK file so leave kind of leave everything default and these are the uh, the variable button if you want to change the color and all that so kind of leave things default should be okay and what you do is just click on this so what it does is downloaded a file like this okay so find this file it should be somewhere in your download folder okay okay so you find your file it should be in your download folder or something like that copy that over and drop it into your folder here okay so you see this file here so uh, what you do is uh, right click uh, you have to actually rename the file so uh, rename it to index.html okay so and then you can delete this file here actually delete this now delete and then to test it out you can double click on it so it should work so double click on this it should load so this is just like the game that you're playing right so you can select this and run same same thing right with the with the mouse or whatever i mean it, it jumps okay all right so this is look like this okay let's uh, stop this for now so we'll close this so this looks fine uh, we have the so basically we converted the uh, scratch project to HTML5 Then what you need to do you have to download a new uh, software something called a uh, website to, to APK So you can find that uh, I'll leave it in the link description uh, to do that. Okay Okay, so you have to go to this website uh, website to APK Android API builder and then just download the free version Okay, so after you download the free version install it I should be okay it doesn't have any virus or anything I checked it so once you download and install it you'll have something like this so you have something like this website to APK builder so what you have to do is uh, I already made one earlier just to test it out so uh, you can call it uh, jungle uh, platformer okay okay so you need to go down here and select the location where you want to go so you can say change and here uh, just go to your APK go to the jungle uh, platformer okay so in jungle platformer I think I showed you earlier right in jungle platform make sure you have something called index.html only one file in here okay and then you can change it wherever you want to go your output so this is my output so we'll create the uh, file here okay so here and here I put it create output so somehow it will create a file here after it's built after that you can leave these things kind of the same um, and then you can change the icon so the icon you need to have a uh, a PNG file okay okay so I, I I have to convert the SVG file to PNG you see this the backdrop I just I just extracted this one so I want this screen uh, this is my thumbnail right so I'm gonna put that as the uh, application so what you have to do is you extract it it'll give you a file like this uh, you have to go into um, another website to convert this okay so you search up convert uh, SVG to PNG and select this one the cloud convert okay just go here then here you select the file that you want um, that SVG file right we had the SVG file uh, I think download okay select this so this is your SVG file you want to convert to PNG just click convert Oh, exceed. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, because it's free, I guess. <laughs> they say you can only do daily limit is 10. But I only did one time, but I don't know why. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so that did not allow us to convert. Let's just use another one. We can just use uh, this one. I think it doesn't matter. Upload a file. So let's just pick this again okay and then we're gonna convert to PNG uh, download so okay we download the PNG file just uh, you make sure that you you know where your PNG file is you can create you can put it in there so let's go back to this tool okay and here we'll change the icon so go back to the uh, where you download it okay And here, uh, just select this PNG file, right? So you have the uh, icon here. 
Okay, so now you have the icon ready, you have this ready. So make sure this one, uh, it goes to that folder, right? And then you can say landscape, okay? So here are the couple of options that usually uh, default, so I already unchecked. So uncheck the zoom, if you don't want it to zoom, like two finger zoom. And then text selection, you can uncheck that one. And then uh, here, uh, there's something called um, show toolbar. Yeah, uncheck that, so that will help. Okay, that's pretty much it. If you want to take out this one, confirm and exit, you can, but it doesn't really matter. So let's see if it all works. So hopefully it works. So let's click on generate. So it will take some time to generate, so let it finish. So it will take some time. So once it's finished, it will create the, uh, the file over there. And then what you can do is upload that file to your Google Drive, and then from your Google Drive, you can just download to your phone. Okay, and then you can install it on your phone. So it says finish, say finish. So now if you look into this folder, you have something called Jungle Platformer, right? This file, so you can upload it to your Google Drive. Okay, so you go to your Google Drive, and then you can just drag this and just dump it into your Google Drive. So it will upload this to your Google Drive. So take some time, it's going. Okay, uh, it will upload this this, uh, this APK file. So once you upload this APK file, you can try to uh, open it from your phone. Uh, so in your phone, you have to have a Google Drive on. Okay, uh, you have Google Drive and you go to the Google Drive and then you have to uh, select this APK file. Once you select the APK file, when you install, or say like, can, uh, do you want to install something that is a uh, unknown source? So you have to say yes then that way you will install. So now I finish upload. Uh, so I'll stop right here and we'll go to the phone and do the phone recording. Okay, all right. APK file, so let's click on it. Yeah, so let's, it will go through and download this to your phone. So once it downloads to your phone, you can say... Uh, For your security, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from the so source. Okay, click on setting, okay. And we have Setting. to enable it. Yeah, enable it. Okay, go back. And install. And install. And click install. Okay. And this will be on your phone. Okay, so it will install it. And then you just step. click accept. Okay. Hopefully it works. It's so almost done. Okay, okay, so now it's done. You can click open. Set open. You might have to turn down the volume a little. So accept, allow, 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 allow and allow. allow. Okay. okay. Let's turn down the volume a little. Okay. So now it's loading. So just wait. Is this still recording, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now you can see you can select your characters. Just try it. Yeah, and it's working fine. It's not as easy to play on mobile as on. Computer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really bad at mobile. <laughs> mobile is much harder to control the player, so. Yeah. So, like, if you have, like, a, some kind of, like, a memory thing that you have, and that's. Yeah, it's much easier to play than this. Yeah. This platform is not very easy to play. Yeah, so, okay. So I think that's good. You can start here. Yeah, I can take the first one. <laughs> no, I can't even okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so these kind of games are a little bit tough to run. And when you click the back button. Yeah, one. just click the back button and then you can and exit it out. Okay, all right. And you can just, stop the recording here. So as you can see, that's how we make the uh, game, like uh, from scratch to APK. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. So uh, pretty pretty uh, simple I guess if you can follow all the rules uh, how to install the uh, Java and all that so once you do all that it should work and then you can just play it on your phone okay okay all right okay that's it thanks for watching guys see you guys next time bye bye